Hey guys, this is another run on actually chapter 9.1 Again showcasing how broken Luna Freya is This time around I'm actually using Luna Freya both as an LD call and as a friend unit Because her quick prayer buff in my opinion is really probably one of the best utility in the game And really what better character to make use of quick prayer than Makina Having instant turns really negates his high turn delay when he uses his Furious Blitz burst attack. While I was fine tuning this run, it made me realize that the utility behind Luna Freya is so efficient that it made this Blitz extremely effective and efficient. I usually speed up my videos by about 20% just to keep the video length shorter, but in this run, it took less than 10 minutes real time. And what you're seeing here is the actual game speed. So coming to the party, I use a party of Makina, Shiloda and Kane. Party slot 1, 2 and 3 and you really need to follow the same party slot order due to the mechanics behind Luna Freya's prayer buff. The starting turn order is also quite important as well. You want a reverse starting order which is Kane followed by Shiloda followed by Makina in order to have optimal setup with the minimal number of turns. If you're not too fast about the turn count though, then it doesn't really matter what order you start in, but this way it actually allowed me to complete the blitz in two turns. To help you get this starting turn order, you can remove one speed passive from Makina. I think he has a buff speed up passive, so I actually removed that and made it more likely for him to start last in the party. So starting off with Kane. Kane has a Luna Freya call and that actually allowed him to complete his setup and leap into the air without increasing the turn count. With Kane right at the start, what you want to do is actually try to break the enemies out of turn order. That's right, you actually would be better off not delaying the enemies at all. And you'll see why later in the fight. The sequence of attacks that I did with Kane is additional ability to break out of turn order, followed by Luna Freya based on the LD call followed by BT plus LD and Deep. So coming to Shaloda's turn, Shaloda does have a 5 over 5 ultimate weapon here, but it's really not needed because she's not going to do any attacks at all in the entire fight, so you can just give her any other weapon. What I did with her is just to spam S1 and DX until Force Cage is fully charged, and then I use her to set the Raijin LD call before swapping her out. The Raijin LD call is key because it helps to prevent damage Return in the fight. Now that that's done, she swapped out for Luna Freya. I think this is a good example of how you can really abuse her prayer mechanics. So first off, I had Luna Freya use her LD, which is free and instant turn. The LD gives both herself and Makina the quick prayer buff, and this is quite important. Firstly, with the quick prayer buff on Luna Freya, she gets consecutive turns that you can use to set up both her BT+, plus, apply heavy prayer on Makina, and end her turn with FR, which you normally wouldn't be able to do unless you get consecutive turns, so this is really a good example of how powerful and broken quick prayer buff can be. So coming to Makina's turn as well and we are already in pause time, what I did here is just go BT plus and then Prish LD call. Here if you don't have Prish LD call, you can also swap that with maybe an Elise call or maybe a Kate Sif call. My goal here is to enter his BT mode with 8 turns of false time remaining. So with this, I could only squeeze in the BT plus before I had to pop the BT mode button. So with BT mode here, 
I start off with LD because I haven't actually applied his LD debuff yet. After which, I'm spamming Furious Blitz plus on to Ultimus here uh, until I get to Makina's final turn, which I then use for EX just to get a better spread damage across both Ultimus here and the minion. Interesting fact, I actually tried to use Makina Burst Ultimus here down from 80% all the way to 0 and it was really quite close, I went from 80% to 4% so it may still be possible to finish Ultimus here off in one huge BT mode and bypass all the thresholds but it is extremely tight and may take quite a lot of adjustments so I made do with just this um, and finishing off the fight right after Makina's PT mode. Coming out of BT mode, Ultimus here will start moping her turns and using Apocalypse on your party but because she's been debuffed with Raijin LD call, you are guaranteed to take 0 damage and it is actually good that Ultimus here or the minion takes turns here because at 1% force, turn, force time turn remaining, you, you see that both Makina and Kane will counter every enemy action which deals tremendous amounts of damage. Coming to Luna's turn here, you have two options. You could use her LD here to grant Makina quick prayer buff, but doing so will cause Luna Freya to leave the field and you will lose her BT aura because Shirota will come back in. But the trade off is that you get Makina to be able to do HP burst attack three consecutive times, which will also be able to end the fight. I decide to just go with EX here because the bosses are near dead anyway, so it doesn't really matter at this stage. But there is certainly an option that you can consider as well. So that's it for this run, as always I hope that the video has been helpful and if you enjoy the content, do leave a like, comment or subscribe, really helps a lot. Till then, I'll see you guys in the next Shinryu fight. Bye!